definitely like having a space where I feel inspired to be and is important to me rather than just having a clean utilitarian shop. I'm constantly looking at things and, and then I'll find things and sort of bring them back here and try to put them together in sort of a, a rhyme or a mystery or a, a vignette. So I started thinking in terms of tessellation as you know, one individual shape and the way it, it repeats and how it affects the other, it interrelates with itself or with another shape that's complementary. When I started doing more design and fabrication work and realizing that all these lines and shapes and things that I was drawn to or that I was, that were coming out were actually kind of referencing different buildings and architects from around Southern California. And then I started actually like researching it and gaining a knowledge of, of those design elements and, you know, finding people like Malcolm Leland, who was an amazing sculptor and he also worked in modular concrete. These shapes that I was doing that were sort of based on the frozen photography of water droplets. It was sort of like shaping a surfboard where you you uh, you find a curve that you like and you just keep working on it until it's it sort of feels right. I would definitely draw out the pattern so they would interlock, but the final shape was just based on the ergonomics of it. I thought of like what I was doing sort of placed in nature and then also sort of the love of seeing ruins and decayed things that, that have developed a patina over time. So concrete's perfect for that because it can, you know, you can hit it with rain and dirt and everything and it just sort of takes on its life of its own.